Yeah, this morning, social media is a huge part of our lives, and while it gives us an easy way to keep in touch with friends and family or just stay entertained, there are, of course, some downsides. A recent study shows that more than 25% of people in Gen Z are using social media as a source for financial wisdom. Now, that can be a problem because, as local financial professional Brad Allen from Drake & Associates is here to explain, uh, there is a lot of bad advice on the Internet about everything, Brad. There can be, yeah, there's a lot of great advice, right? Mm -hmm. But there's also bad advice. So you just have to be able to decipher what's good, what's bad, but really, you know, what's specific to you, right? Because when, when a video is put on social media, whether it's TikTok or Instagram, Facebook, whatever it might be, it's for the masses, right? It's for a lot of different people. It's one topic, it's four minutes long, however long it might be. But is that good for your situation? And you just have to adjust, right? You have to look at where am I in my life? And am I close to retirement? Do I need to be more conservative or more aggressive when I'm early on in working years? I, so everybody's a little bit different and everybody has different goals. That's why just not one strategy is gonna work for everybody. What kind of person is turning to social media for financial information? Well, you do, you see a lot of Gen Zers, you see uh, a lot of millennials, but even Gen X and baby boomers. You know, I, I work in uh, retirement planning and I have a lot of people that come in and they, they talk about that social security strategy they saw online, or they talk about what investment strategies or tax harvesting they wanna do. And a lot of great information, and I'm glad people are out there researching things, but is it best for their specific situation? So across the board, everybody's looking at uh, social media these days. And you know, 30 years ago, we didn't have this kind of information at our fingertips. So it's a really great tool to be able to utilize, but you just have to make sure it's in your best interest and you're kind of being your own advocate. Yeah, so there is good information on social media, but there is also bad information. How do you know when you do find good information? It's a great question. Or it could just be good information, but bad for your situation, right? I mean, there's things out there like right now you see a lot of the uh, the buy now, pay later kind of uh, TikTok videos, those kind of things where, where somebody on TikTok, an influencer buys something that's pretty expensive and uh, they, they're using the BNPL method, the buy now, pay later, which is basically where you're, you're making monthly payments on that with zero interest, which could be great in somebody's situation, right? But you have to be careful too, because if you ever miss a payment, you have to pay back a lot of interest, there's fees, there's fines, there's all these things associated with that. So there's the problem with the, the buy now, pay later on TikTok is you have a lot of influencers who, who say you're not gonna get into debt by going with this kind of strategy, but that's not true, right? Because anytime you have a, a product exchange for a promise to pay it later, uh, that's debt, right? So you have to you have to know the rules, be able to uh, be uh, strategic with how to pay it down, how to pay it off before you get into anything like that. So that's- The other one too. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Well, I was gonna ask you for another example. So why don't you just go ahead, Brad? <laughs> Uh, the, the latest one that we saw uh, last year was the celebrity endorsements. We saw it with the, the crypto exchanges and obviously the, the crypto took a turn for the worse, but you had a lot of celebrities that were putting uh, different coins on their social media, but th what they weren't doing is saying that I'm getting paid to do this. So they were getting in trouble by the SEC. And I would just say anybody that, you know, maybe it's a familiar face on TV or it's a celebrity, I wouldn't take financial advice specific to you based on that. Um, obviously, you know, they, they might be doing something that might not work in your situation. So you just wanna, again, be your own advocate, my best recommendation is to, to put a financial plan or a retirement plan together specific for you and work with a financial advisor or somebody that has your best interest at heart that can look at all these different situations. All right. You know, especially, especially as you're getting close to retiring, yeah. you don't want to be too aggressive like crypto exchanges and those things that might not work well if the market goes down and you lose a lot of money. All right. More information at wealthwisconsin.com. That's right. All right, Brad. Thank you. Thank you.